So this last storm cycle, we've had over 130 inches of snow in, in a less than two weeks. So we've been waiting for the weather window since this big storm started and kind of reach our thresholds to consider bombing Susan Jane because it can't affect the, the backside ski area. So that morning, the forecasters came in, assembled the 50-pound charges. So by the time we got here in the morning, the charges were assembled. We got the rest of our gear together, um, communicating with the pilots. Susan Jane, 2014. So our first flight, we did a, a dry run. We talked about what the timing was going to be like. There's a pilot and then a spotter in the front seat of the bird. And then in the back seat is an assistant and a bombardier. As we approach the spot, the navigator is telling the assistant and the bombardier when to put the igniters on the charges, when to light the charges, and then when to throw the charges. Once the word comes to light the charges from the spotter, the bombardier pulls the igniter, the assistant confirms that we have lit charges, and then the spotter will give a countdown to drop the charge. We're throwing the bomb out of a moving helicopter, we're not hovering. So it's important that the timing is right. So it's better to be a little early, but it is a little unnerving to have, you know, 50 pounds and, and kind of counting the seconds of the 90 second safety fuse in your head and you're already at 10 or 15 seconds. And that's plenty of time to be holding a lit charge. So it definitely was eager to get that out the bird when, we, when the time came. shattered like a pane of glass and started sliding down and it was just amazing to be having a bird's eye view, be looking down on that as it, as it happened and then it sliding under the bird and it hit the, the lake and started pulling down some pretty big sized trees. It was just powerful, so powerful. That was intense.